Okay, welcome back channel. Um, I'm trying to use a stand today because I need the extra hands to do the work. I have right here the RF bridge. I've actually um, made, put some connectors in. One there, one here, and one here. The main thing is the switch here has to be placed in the zero position which is towards this bank here of um, pin headers. And on the side here, we have our transmit, receive and power. They're all marked there. What you need to do is switch the transmit and receive around on the other end of your USB device. And make sure that the device is actually in the three 3 volt 3.3 3 volt position on your um, equipment and then from there we need to download some software which comes from Joseph Perez it's a spooner software which is right here I'll put the uh, links in the description and what we're going to do is we're going to flash his firmware directly to the RF bridge. Now, the reason that this, this is off is because if we have a look at um, what's happening with our equipment, we've got a main chip of an ESP8285, which is similar to the 8266. Uh, the center switch is to be in the the off position so it doesn't communicate with the uh, other chip which is an ES uh, correction EFM 8 bb one chip and that stops it from communicating I think that's to um, make it easier for programming now just to let you know after you program this is the the coding that it uses it uses a form of uh, Manchester encoding. It starts off with a, a two sync bits, which is a high and low, or low and high, I mean, depending on which way you look at it. And then it goes into two low, low bits, which are here, and goes to a high bit. And then it sends three bits of data to tell it uh, what what it needs to do. Now the the thing is, it that's about 3k um, hertz, and the actual chip they use is an to transmit this is an SYN470. Actually, that's a receive module. That's to receive it is an SYN470R, and the maximum it can handle is 5k. So some equipment won't be able to be able to do um, encode and decode the actual information so that's it for the that bit now what we're going to do is we're going to quickly flash this device now i'll bring it up to flash the device now you've got the button so the button's here you've got to press that and then plug it into your usb cable as per most other sonoff equipment and then we'll go from there so hopefully this will work so now all the all the lights are off except for the green light hopefully this is going to work um, not 100% try and bring it back here zoom out zoom out as far as I can and now we'll go down here now what you need to do is you need to and I'll list the um, places I've got the software. You now I've downloaded two software. This one here is actually the RF bridge software. Um, I've put also put the the flashing tool in the same folder as the RF bridge software so that it can find it and then once I open it it will grab these two bits of software, the basic son off and the other one, but we only want the top one in this case. So that wasn't what I wanted to do. 
So now we're on comms port 3, it's identified comms port 3 and we will go down to that to flash it. So now we'll try and flash the actual software onto it. Here we go, we'll see what happens. Wish me luck. Flash failed. Oh well, hold on, we're going to have to check that and I'll get back to you. Okay, um, what I've done is I pushed it the wrong way. The actual header for the for the actual um, switch has to go towards the 80, 82, um, 85 chip, which is there. So that's the switch has to come this way. Now that, that is what I meant to do. And also I mentioned... Um, Mr. Perez, his name is Zos Perez. I got it wrong and I very much ap apologise to him and I appreciate the work that he does to um, put stuff together. Now we're going to have to re-flash this. So what I'll do is I'll put it into the flash mode and then I'll continue. Okay, it's worked this time. It's writing the information to the, the chip. So here we go. And this will install the Spooner software. I'll leave links below for all the details of how to do it. And it actually is working, which is good. Um, you can't see anything except a green light on the actual um, RF bridge, which is down there. But that's about all that's happening. And it, I've got this done for one of the guys that asked if I could get it done. Uh, so I've ignored going out into a beautiful day and <laughs> I'm doing this for you so that you can actually um, do the same thing. So that's now flashed, it's completed. And now um, I should be able to go to the website. Now from here, um, I'll leave a link to uh, Dose's, um, his uh, YouTube channel, and he's got a thing on there to show you how to use the actual device. Um, I'll just double check and see if I get, see if it's the same. I haven't actually checked this yet. I was running a bit late. And this is Windows, so we might not see it here. Oh yes, there it is. The RF bridge is there, and that's it. So if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And really, can you please subscribe? The more subscribers I get, the more um, I want to do for people. And the more we do, the more good stuff we can put up here, and uh, people enjoy it. And I appreciate that person that wanted this as quick as possible. And I think he'll be pretty happy. I spent a little bit of time looking into it, making sure that everything's right. Now, the only thing I didn't do before I finish, just to let you know, I forgot to take the communication switch, which is the one down here, the off position, which is towards this header, back across so that it can communicate again. Don't forget to do that, okay? Anyway. Bye for now everyone and catch you on the flip side.